Pastor Matt and I are in the midst of a sermon series called A Fellowship of Difference. And uh, there's a metaphor that we are, are working with, and the metaphor is the salad bowl. But we're talking about a, a real salad of different vegetables, kind of chopped and mixed together. They have their separate flavors and textures, but they're united by a drizzle of olive oil and a little salt that, that brings out the flavors of everything. That's the kind of salad we're talking about. That's what church is supposed to be like. So, I'm at work here at the church this past week, and I am walking through the copy room, and I hear Pastor Matt say something to one of our impressionable young interns. I hear Pastor Matt say, I'm not afraid of him, he's so short. <laughs> I, I can see it in your faces, uh, you're shocked. You d- <laughs> You didn't know he had that dark side. I hope you could tell that Pastor Matt and I enjoy working with one another. We enjoy a little give and take. It's, it's fun to be with somebody that you have some similar, similar vision about ministry and, and a similar sense of humor. I've wondered this week, what would it be like to have to work with somebody closely day after day that you didn't get along with. I've thought this week about the early church, and I imagine this. I imagine a staff meeting of the early church with Jesus sitting at the head of the table, passing out the agendas, and on his right side, he has seated beside him Simon the Zealot. Now, Simon is a right-winger of right-wingers. The man has probably got a sword in his belt and two in his shoes because he is all about overthrowing the Roman Empire, the Roman oppressors, and everybody who works with them. He is a zealot. That's his political party. He is seated to the right of Jesus. To the left of Jesus, I could imagine Matthew, the tax collector, who works for the Roman Empire. I've tried to imagine that scene, and I've said to Jesus, why in the world did you do that? And in my devotions this week, I read the story in the Scripture of Mary. Mary, very prominent among the followers of Jesus. She is so devoted that one night she comes to staff meeting and she breaks open a very expensive jar of perfume and she pours it out on the feet of Jesus and wipes it off with her hair and that alone would tick off a bunch of Jewish guys. It especially ticked off a guy by the name of Judas Iscariot who calls a side meeting and said, we should have sold that stuff and given the money to the poor. I could imagine what the afterglow of that staff meeting would have been like after that. Jesus, how does that work? Why do you call people like that together and how do you keep it together when people are are so different. Paul says, what holds it together is that Jesus is graciously patient with me and with us together. What, What does that mean? What's Paul talking about? Is he talking about Tolerance? 
Well, yeah, he's talking about tolerance. Tolerance helps us to be respectful in the midst of differences, even very serious differences. But what he's talking about, this gracious patience, is much deeper than tolerance. Is Paul talking about recognizing our shared humanity, recognizing that we share the image of God, that we share a common dignity, and allowing that, that shared humanity to, to unite us in the salad bowl is something that we need. Yes, Paul is talking about that. I heard a story this week from another pastor. It took place in about 1949, 1950. There was a mom and a young boy and they were walking down a street in South Africa. And this is during the days of apartheid. They're walking down the sidewalk. And in those days in South Africa, if you are African and a white Afrikaner is approaching you on the sidewalk, it is your duty to step off of the sidewalk into the gutter so that the white Afrikaner can pass. And so the little boy and the mom look down the sidewalk and they see a tall, distinguished, white Afrikaner, hat, suit, funny little collar on, coming toward them on the sidewalk. And so boy looks up to mom, waiting for her to step off of the sidewalk into the gutter so that the white man can pass. And to his surprise, down the sidewalk, he sees this man step into the gutter himself. And he waits. And he waits until the boy and the mom pass, and he takes off his hat and nods, smiles. After they pass, the boy looks up to mom and says, what kind of of man was that, mom? She says, that man was a priest. Now you know the rest of the story. Young Desmond Tutu looks up at his mom and says, mom, when I grow up, I would love to be a priest. Simply recognizing a common humanity in your neighbor's face can go a long way in keeping the salad bowl together. But even still, Paul is talking about something much deeper than tolerance, much deeper than recognizing a common humanity. Paul is talking about grace, the grace of God seen and experienced in Jesus Christ. Paul is talking about the patient grace of God in Jesus. He's talking about his own experience of the grace, grace and patience of Jesus. And Paul is saying this, if the grace and patience of Jesus has transformed me and is still transforming me, then, then I need to offer patience and grace to others as well. And that's what keeps things together in the salad bowl, patience and grace. If I could ask you a challenging question, what are you bringing to the salad bowl? I hope you're bringing your own experiences and your own ideas, your own style, 
your own flavor. I hope you're bringing that. Are you also bringing gracious patience with yourself and with others? Here at Suncrest United Methodist Church, in our very midst, there is a glorious God whose aim is to create the salad bowl where patience and grace flows.